All right, guys, tonight I'm going to show you how to spot a scammer. So yesterday, or the day before, I was on Google scrolling through, and I see a website that has Merle French Bulldogs as well as lilacs, all kind of other exotic colors, for $799. Plus, a pet nanny service that runs from $150 to $175. Is that true? I doubt it, and I'm going to show you how to spot it. All right, just to shorten this video up just a little bit, I'm gonna post all the videos, all the screenshots and all the screen recordings I took from the emails they sent, just so you guys can kind of go through them and use this as a reference if you guys have to in the future, just so you can spot these crooks out. Cause these people are scumbags. Okay, so one of the main thing that sticks out here is after 799, it says USD. No one here in the States is gonna put USD after a dollar amount can see it says we are located in Springfield it doesn't specify where what Springfield Minnesota Michigan Indiana it ended up being in Michigan so as you read through these emails I want you guys to always remember this you can use this as a reference for future if you ask these people questions and you get them stumped up they're gonna mistype they're gonna say things that don't make sense never click on those links ever now, coming up, you're going to see they ask some very good questions that reputable breeders will ask you. Like, have you ever owned a Frenchie? You know, where do you live? Because they, a, a reputable breeder wants to know the dog is going to go to a good home. These people don't care. They don't have a dog for sale, period. So you'll notice once they go through their whole spiel, they want to know if I want to come pick the dog up or if they want to send it through their pet nanny service, which is a sham, too. So I told them we'll head that way. We'd book a flight ASAP. So you'll see here, they're gonna send an address that's gonna say, I think it was 4201 Dickman Avenue or Dickman Road in Michigan. You know, here I'm telling them right here that, you know, we live in a gated community. We own a French Bulldog. We actually own several. Uh, we can come pick up the puppy today or tomorrow. Just need to know where in Springfield they're located, basically. Coming up, you know, here they come with the whole, oh yeah, this, this is their little bait and, bait and hook right here. Oh, the beautiful dog, she's super healthy, has great confirmation, just a perfect addition to your family. Now, if you look right here, it says the shipping fee for the uh, pet nanny service is usually $150 to $175 is what they'll say in a future email response, right? So that's basically to get you to think in your mind, oh, well, you know, it's, a plane ticket's going to cost 200 bucks, and I'm going to have to rent a car, so it's probably better to just have them ship the dog. They'll never ship the dog. You're getting beat for your $7.99, and you're getting beat for your $1.75. Now, I immediately hit them with the, we want to come see her in person, because there's nobody going to send a dog, and I'm not giving these people my phone number, because I already knew this was a scam going into this. I had absolutely zero intentions of going up here, flying up here, or even seeing the dog in person because the dog doesn't exist. Here's where this gets funny. They put the address 4261. So I put it into the my maps. It comes up as an apartment complex, right? And later on in a future email, you'll see they say, that's not an apartment. When surely it is because I can see it's an apartment on my maps. Now, when they tell me that's not an apartment, I immediately hit him back with, well, where we were at today was an apartment or a duplex from the address you gave me. We got a hotel nearby, which was a lie. We'll call tomorrow. Now, see, they know they're, they're getting pushed into a corner. So now immediately they say, can I get a copy of your flight ticket? No one here calls anything a flight ticket. It's a boarding pass, number one. And number two, why would you want to see my boarding pass when I just told you I'm in the parking lot of the address you gave me? Come out and see it in person. These people are scammers. Frenchy Globe. This is where they said they were. Brookside Apartments. Remember, it's not an apartment. Not an apartment. Now they want to see the picture here of my boarding pass, which again, I tell them, cool, we're in the parking lot. Just come walk right on out. You can see the little deal. I even did a little Photoshop and act like we really were there. I hit them back and I said, listen, if you guys don't want us to know where you live, cool, I can respect that. You know, it's just come out here and I'll show you the boarding passes again I've sent them the picture that we're out in the parking lot waiting for them I told them we can meet them at the taco place across the street now they want to see a picture of my boarding my flight ticket and not a picture of their of their packing which makes zero sense 
But see, someone who's so hype about getting a French Bulldog, they're going to overlook that. Also, pay attention to the font sizes. So the messages that are coming back, one's in a total different font, which is almost like that's probably like the senior person trying to teach someone how to pull this scam on just someone trying to get a French Bulldog. This is so uncool. This may be the funniest part when they said, don't waste my time. When they're out here trying to rob somebody for $799, $175 for some non-existent flight nanny service for their dog. This is crazy, and people, everyone needs to be aware that this is this is how these scammers work. They're good at this. I'll give them credit. They're good at it, but you can't outslick a can of oil. Okay, so I go to Frenchie Globe's website. I go to their testimonials, and look who we got here. That picture is from James in Georgia. Okay, keep that in mind. So what you'll want to do is take a screen grab of that photo, crop it, and bring it straight over to the Google reverse image search. Okay, for a reverse image search, what you're going to do is this. You're going to go into Google, type in reverse image search. I already have it picked out right here, so we'll just tag that. Very first one, it doesn't even really matter. Let that start up. See where it says upload a file or drag and drop? Click that. Photo library. I usually keep my stuff on select. Here's an image that I took directly off their website. Looks like it might be down now. So we'll use that. And then we're going to go show matching images. And this will show you how many times that picture has been used, where it's been used, what websites. So Pinterest, okay, that doesn't really scare me because Pinterest, anybody can post on Pinterest. You know, but here's another one right here. PremiumFrenchyPups.com. And I believe this might be an Australia website, but if you click on this, it's probably very similar to the Frenchie Global. This is probably a big scam right here. All these people saying how great they were to do business with. Look, there's the picture right there. Jennifer Lopez in Colorado. Come on. These people are crazy. But that's how you do a, a reverse image search. And you can do it with any photo. Just take a screenshot of the picture, crop it out, and then bring it right to your reverse image search. This is the biggest scam and they'll take your money. I don't care who you guys buy a French Bulldog from, there's many reputable breeders out there who will give you advice, they'll take their time with you, they'll answer a million questions just to help you get the right dog. Mm -hmm.